Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this is uh, a video. It seems like we did a long time ago, but this was a Patreon exclusive. Again, uh, exclusive videos multiple times on Patreon every week. And you can join Patreon for as little as $1 a month to help us uh, keep growing in exposing exactly what's going on here on this planet and and sharing it again with others that's the way we shift the the complete paradigm you have to awaken new minds that haven't been awakened yet and you know uh we were heartened by some very close family members you know actual family members um that seem to be really getting it now and and even coming and asking questions and saying um so tell me about this you know and and specifically asking about the things that maybe they thought we were a little bit off in past years but now they 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 get it they finally get it and i think this is where the whole paradigm is going to collapse it, it is and it's going to be about unfortunately this is the hard part where so many people go through tragedy and they have really hard things happen to them and they look around and they and they finally realize oh my gosh this is not this is not right this is not normal this is not what i had thought and they really start digging and thank goodness the information is out there to go down a few good rabbit holes and as long as you don't get sidetracked by, by things that the controllers put out there to have us follow down, which are really completely meaningless. And you stay focused on the true agenda of the controllers. You figure stuff out and you're able to situate yourself and and help yourself get through whatever you need to get through. Because I, I from what I can see and my thoughts and feelings are everything that they're doing now is to really cripple people in a big way and then offer them some type of salvation but only under their terms and only under their control and if people cannot take care of themselves or work together as neighbors they're gonna have to go in some type of other place where the controllers do have control and in some cases you know there there could be these huge 5g towers which i saw unfortunately a family member was placed next to uh, a big 5g tower after they were chased out of out of their area so because of the fires, because of the fires. The wildfires. yeah so it was like really really horrible what they're doing and they're still doing it and they're just going to continue doing it and what our job is to pull together and you guys have really really helped us out through patreon and through other other means and other ways because we can't do this alone mike and i can't do this alone we need help no absolutely yeah you know it, it's never about the i to told you so's even though you know it can be very very frustrating when you're trying to tell people you don't necessarily want to be right. It's not about the egoic, hey, I was right this this whole time. It's about just simply trying to help people help themselves. That's really what it's about. Um, I'm blessed in that I, I still have a good relationship with my very first girlfriend, who was my first wife, and we were together for 26 years. And, you know, she will <laughs> verify. She'll say, you've been talking about this since the 80s. You've been talking about all this since the high, high school. Well, that's because this has been always the job of the higher self with my incarnation here. This is why I'm here. And, you know, it's a blessing when you know why you're here. And this is exactly why I'm here. And this is why uh, the guides brought Cindy to me. And, you know, it's because we've done these missions before in past lives, and we've tried to help others um, in past lives, just like we're doing right now. So it's not our first rodeo. It really isn't our first rodeo. And, you know, the thing is, I, I know our core group here that have been following all along, it's not yours either. Y you guys are what we would call starseed lightworkers which is not some sort of crazy woo-woo term. No, they just want to basically make it sound that way. Again, you have to realize that this control system controls through ignorance. It's through ignorance. As soon as people awaken, as soon as people look at crazy radar blips, as soon as people really 
take the time deep breath look logically feel into a situation you'll see this was always right in front of us the whole time and it's just i think in a lot of cases people just simply didn't want you know what is really going on to really be what's going on it, it certainly changes everything in our world and they keep us so busy just again paying the taxes you know the whole tax system yeah it def definitely makes a class of people wealthy and able to um achieve lifestyles that they want even though they're not happy because they're doing it at the expense of others but what it does too is it just traps us in this loop where you don't have time to breathe you don't have time to meditate you don't have time to do the things that are going to cultivate um that inner knowing and you also uh don't have necessarily un unless we've been blessed in some way the the money because this is why they, they make uh, a simple salad with all organic ingredients to be out of the reach of some people. But you can go get the toxic dollar menu uh, at, at Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King. That's totally intentional. You know, conventional is not organic. Organic should be conventional. Organic should be, I mean, everything in this world is upside down. But, you know, take heart because people are seeing this and, and recognizing what's going on. This is Black Mountain. Black Mountain's to the east of Asheville. The whole Asheville area is a mess. Uh, truck drivers stuck in a warehouse lot while the floodwaters are rising, threatening them, carrying them away. Two of seven trucks have tipped over already. You can see this is inside the cab of uh, an 18-wheeler. Please continue to send your prayers out. Um, we still have uh, friends and family members uh, that are unaccounted for out there. Now this, uh, look at this. I mean, that was a gorgeous view. And what you can't see is that there's a hum of a generator inside the house. You know, so obviously this is carbon monoxide poisoning waiting to happen. Oh, you know, there's still a lot of danger out there and when you're in that cleanup uh, mode that's that's unfortunately when we still lose people is is because people will be like well you know they'll go walking outside in and try to wade through water now for one if you are in Florida beware of the wildlife because you know there's gators um, as well as snakes and all sorts of things but debris and live wires, live wires. Uh, you, know, you just got to be aware of all this. And here, you know, this is, there's the hum of a generator going inside the house. Everything is closed. That's just a nightmare right there. And this shows the power. This is Highway 107, bridge out of Greenville. Um, David Debine did make a video uh, like 11, 12 hours ago. Um, we texted him. I'm sure he's got a lot of things going on. Just wanted to make sure he's okay because he's in the midst of this area uh, as well. Uh, and if, um, while I'm thinking of it, Tyler, if you hear us, just send us a little uh, message that you and mom are okay. Uh, there's just so many people that have been affected by this. Yeah, definitely, and and our beloved Leah as well. We, um, she just she texted us saying we are flooding, and that's all. And we haven't heard back from her since. So we definitely are. You know, we have people that uh, personally we're praying for, but then you know, of course, you spread that love out to as many people as possible that need those prayers and that energy. So, uh, yeah, when we're waiting for you guys to check in, um, and anyone else who's been affected that we might have missed please check in because this is like really very concerning and i think it, it's you know the this horrible part is done but there's so much more to do and now we're looking at the water the disease you know the the sewer systems are going to be overflowing i mean this is going to be much much worse and there's still more to contend with there's a lot of work to do yeah, um, I know Elena in Waynesville, too, is somebody that uh, posts regularly. Uh, so if, if you hear this, do leave us a little 
um, message that you're okay and everybody's okay. Um, so, you know, it's crazy. This is the Nola Chucky Dam near Greenville, Tennessee. It's nearing failure. Um, thankfully, there were a few dams that they thought were going to fail that didn't fail. And I really do believe that, you know, positive intention um, has has something to do with things not failing. You know, I think we can push back. I think we can elicit um, a strengthening of even physical structures with intent, which might sound crazy, but when you understand that everything is consciousness and there are elemental beings that are literally holding things together, uh, just as there are elemental beings that are tending to your very body that are not you, they're independent uh, life forms with their own uh, consciousness, but they do tend to your body and they um, keep your body going. Without these elemental beings, your body wouldn't exist. Uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be alive. And this is part of how they separate us again from the natural world because they make you think everything is, is demons when many things are daemons. Uh, and there is a difference. There is a big difference. And, you know, unfortunately, again, with the way they control us through um, the religious indoctrination and mindset, it, it cuts us off. And then it keeps us from, from living to our highest possibility and having abundant health. And Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. And now is a time where we come together even energetically even if we cannot be there on site now we we also know some really beautiful people who are taking heavy equipment out to different areas and uh, assisting with the cleanup already so um, we really appreciate that whenever that can be done too so you can see a lot of red in the map and this is absolutely a east coast event it does extend into Tennessee, which is landlocked, well, has Mississippi, Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana affected too. Uh, Florida right now, uh, you have 468,000 still without power. And this is, again, households. Uh, Georgia, 776,000. South Carolina uh, was impacted the hardest in, in many ways, um, proportionately when it comes to the power being out oh, it's still over 1 million households without power in South Carolina 720,000 in North Carolina 188,000 over in Virginia 211,000 now out in, o in Ohio 134,000 in Kentucky West Virginia 68,000 Indiana 65,000 Tennessee 65,000 but some of the worst stuff we've seen has been right here, right along the border of uh, Tennessee and North Carolina. So be mindful of that. Um, spot this. I always look for Cascadia. Um, you have a couple quakes here. There was a third there. It must have expired. Uh, this is only showing quakes in a 24-hour period. So you do have a 5.1 and a 4.6 off the uh, Oregon coast, Oregon, California coast. This is, uh, again, the Cascadian area that we're really watching. And, you know, at different times, there's been quite a few quakes up around uh, Seattle. And, you know, one thing the guides have, have, have said was they showed a vision to Cindy, which we must have misinterpreted time-wise, because uh, we were thinking that they were showing 1.5, and thinking it was 1.5 uh, years. This was all the way back to December of 2022, but they showed that there would be volcanic activity, and we both had um, previously had uh, these visions and feelings that there would be earthquakes going on when <clears throat> the big attack uh, was coming. Now, again, timelines absolutely can change. They are always changing. And that is um, something that we were talking about on EERs yesterday, timelines. Because the reality is, uh, when we are totally independent of this system, we can have our, um, different timelines that are, are really not touching other people's timelines. It's, um, again, how consciousness really, really works. But because the system creates the expectation for events, 
Uh, and again, you know, sometimes people will say, well, you're helping to manifest that if you touch on this. Well, again, events like what we had yesterday, you know, our intent is to warn people so they'll be extra careful. So maybe it'll literally save lives. And, uh, you know, again, that was n no storm to just, you know, ignore as as over 40 people have have lost their lives at this point, And those numbers are probably going to go way up. There's still so much um, that hasn't been accounted for. There's still so many areas that are underwater without power that haven't been able to be looked at. It, it's just, again, uh, it was major and unfortunately one for the record books. So it's about changing timelines, uh, but you can't necessarily change the collective's timeline by sticking your head in the sand. So what we had seen was before, you know, the attack on the U.S. was to happen like a Red Dawn style thing. Uh, the impression was that there would be the big quakes, uh, Cascadia and the San Andreas, possibly New Madrid going too. So, you know, just be aware there's still a lot in play. Timelines are, are always flexible. They're always starting to solidify and manifest. And then events might happen that make that timeline fall apart mm. right and, and that's where our intention and our hearts uh should be in the right spot we should always be in the right spot with our heart and checking that and double checking that so when your intention is to reach out and save lives that's exactly what your intention is and and there's no twisting that so pray for peace and pray that the world awakens to what's happening uh on the bigger scale and the geopolitical uh, the number one for Hezbollah is apparently no longer with us. And again, we say apparently because, you know, have we seen for ourselves? N no. And even so, in this time, do you know with body doubles and actors and all sorts of things out there, if it's for sure? No. You know, it, it's again part of the script. And do we trust any of the uh, mainstream media? No, <laughs> not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. So you, you do have uh, Hezbollah releasing the statement, but it's all, again, the script. So this is what they're giving you, the impression that uh, many, many top-level uh, people uh, in Hezbollah have been wiped out. And I saw a number of 600K perhaps being lost that lived in, in the GAZA area. 600,000, uh, they called it indirect uh, lives lost. This And there was 2 million people. I mean, what, what we have going on is, is beyond description and is absolutely uh, the stuff of the lower astral realms, which is, again, the more hellish realms. So this is a brigadier general that's apparently also no longer here in the physical um you know the type of weaponry that's been used are um, massive and and they are just taking out um, many many again innocent people but it is again you know it's part of w the awakening and you know here you have um netanyahu giving the orders apparently that led to that massive uh, bunker buster being used where the whole building is obliterated. There's nothing left uh, from the UN headquarters in New York. Now, this is again telegraphing uh, when the reprisal comes, you know, they're telegraphing it and they're just giving you a logical train of thought to follow. And so we are very aware of that. British government warns of weak military says civilians must be ready to fight well you know i don't personally recognize any government being what it really is supposed to be so you know there there's no way um that anybody that's spiritually awake would would literally um volunteer to go you know fight for what's organized uh, destructive chaos it, it, it's truly, uh, again, this is a, a, a sacrifice of a very, you know, bloody kind that is going on. And, 
you know, here you go. You know, they're, they're just telling you, you know, everything is in place uh, for drafts and all that. And then we have those slogans from the 60s. Hell no, we won't go. We got to be a little bit louder about that. And in fact, loud enough to the point where it's, you know, it's time to change the whole power structure on the planet. If we had enough people, if we had 51% of the people on the planet screaming in unison, no, the only thing that's going is every single government institution on the, on the planet. Oh, absolutely, we'd have change. And, and we'd have huge change because we would o- open up the door again uh, for a different level of help from other beings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we just really all we can do is, is keep going, keep putting one foot in front of the other and, and keep moving. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you can see all this telegraphed and also 650,000 criminals, they say, were led into the U.S., 650,000 known criminals among the tens of millions that have come in uh, across the border in a non-legal manner, as you have the border czar, Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. 78, that's, that's the number they attribute to, to Kamala, 78. Not even three digits. I believe it. Uh, you know, because, yeah, how could you believe? Seriously. How could you possibly believe this person makes any sort of real decisions? The same thing with, with um, you know, 46 and even 45 because, you know, again, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. And, and still people have been buying it because, you know, a lot of times people um, don't have the time to look deeper. And, and again... Hopefully, we'll have enough time without fluoridated water that some IQs will actually start to rate, to raise up a little. I think so. I think really, honestly, the the fluoridated water issue, if that gets uh, resolved and if they go back and they start taking some poisons out of the food for our children and our, our grandchildren and for us even, I think things really will get better. Absolutely. And... You know, it's interesting because I've seen rumors of 139 countries ready to sign on to use BRICS currency. And when I search for that, what does it give me? It gives me a Wikipedia that's very similar to when you talk about reptilian beings and Anunnaki. 139 nations to back BRICS currency. Uh, Based on provided search results, it's important to clarify there is no concrete evidence or official statement from the BRICS nations or any other country indicating that 139 countries are planning to sign into a BRICS currency. When they do this, this makes me feel that, okay, there's probably truth to this, that at least, you know, if not 139, a lot. Uh, So the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, um, have discussed their own currency and in fact you know this this is a powerful group that's looking at a gold backed asset which would literally be worth this is saying and, and a couple other places were quoting the same thing uh, 55 to 1 uh, ratio with the dollar so one of these would be worth 55 US dollars if that does happen, and and if because uh, again, you know, 139 would be the majority of countries out there, majority of the world is starting to trade in this instead of trading in the dollars. You know, pet, the petrodollar is why the U.S. has been in a position of uh, dominance. It's been because that's what everybody traded in, tied to the oil um, system. And, you know, here you go. This this would cause massive de-dollarization. You would have literally the same scenario that we had in the Weimar Republic or in Venezuela or in Argentina in past times where people will be literally bringing a wheelbarrow full of, of dollars in order to buy a couple loaves of bread. So will they do something? Will they trigger something? I think there's something very much to this. Uh, it's not my specialty by any means as, as I you know, really have a distaste for the monetary system. I would love to see us all go to more of a barter and trade because you can't have middlemen there saying, oh, wait a minute, you're trading a dozen eggs? 
you know, for a bunch of grapes, well, I want my 10% of eggs and grapes because this is what they do to us. This is where they, they take from us without providing us anything. You know, oh, oh, well, you know, they're supposed to fix the roads. They're supposed to do this and do that. Yeah, no, they're just leeches, ticks and leeches. So if you take away the ability of the ticks and leeches to feed, they're, they're going to be ineffective. And this is another way to collapse the system. Come up with real alternatives based in a manner that they can't take a cut. And, you know, here, again, unfortunately, in my mind, too many people want to go to digital currency. This is what they want. They want digital. Why would we want to go and do what they want to do? if the system is is going to push on every side for digital then what we should go the opposite route yeah it's just kind of it, it should it should be obvious in my mind and when you look at this look at it, it's it's like computer network it's like a chip yeah and in fact our cities are laid out like chips you know, this is again showing you who the real controllers are. It, it ultimately is an extraterrestrial AI system that runs this show. Uh, the BRICS giants decry UN reform paralysis. So, foreign ministers of the BRICS nations have reiterated their commitment to expanding the UN Security Council to enhance the influence of developing countries in global governance and economic decision making. You know, the UN itself uh, is is not what it appears to be, and and it, it, you know again, some people think that BRICS is the solution, and they're they're fighting on the side of the benevolent ETs. I don't believe that, not at all. I think this is all a, a puppet show. This is all just for 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 humans to consume and maybe we can sucker humans into believing this this is exactly what they do time and time again it's like um who's the one that pulls the football away from charlie brown is that linus or snoopy i don't know what one of them though but they do they talk to us quite clearly in the cartoons if we, if we just simply simply believe so um i mean it, it's something we just need to stay firm and keep going absolutely and this is um again the polish psychic he was talking about warren buffett warren what's warren buffett doing he's getting rid of his dollars now he's buying commodities now he's not actually <coughs> stocking warehouses with bananas but he he's buying um he's buying basically uh commodities in paper form in futures what, what we call futures so he's buying percentages of let's just put it out there um, something like you know percentages of, of bananas from Costa Rica or, or coffee from Colombia. This is he's buying tangible things right now because he recognizes that the um, the actual currencies are going to be very very volatile ups and downs and craziness. So this should be a, a warning to us again tangible things tangible things. You know, this is what we were talking to somebody yesterday that's a lawyer that understands um, more than probably most people do, but still um, is probably not in the CONS piracy theory uh, spectrum. Uh, and, and, you know, she was just saying tangible, tangible assets, gold, silver, real estate. Mm -hmm. Real, yes. Real things that are real uh, bitcoin's not real you know again cryptocurrencies are not real and i understand people have made money on them and yes you can make a lot of money on them i, I you know it's not i'm not a risk taker like that um but if, if you have the guts and you want to play it up to the last moment you might be able to you know make a good deal of money um but at the same time i do think that <laughs> just like when you go into the casino in in vegas you might start off good but at some point in time yeah the system's rigged it is but and and really really keep in mind because we've heard some pretty bad horror stories about people um getting into these uh 
bitcoins and making an investment and then they lose all their money because it, w it was just a scam it was just a scam and i was told if you go on reddit and online just to look up how many scams there are on bitcoin it, it's just insurmountable i mean there's people out there that are making a difference by trying to put together all of those uh coin scams that there are and maybe creating a website so that other people can go to if they're thinking about investing they can go to this website and see if these other places have scammed but that's that's even dangerous because then you have people that could uh, put out a hit on you but there's other people that want to make a difference so please be very careful when dabbling in that realm i know it might sound really good and the you know what you get back might sound really good but i would go above i mean personally i would never do it but if you're going to do it go above and beyond your due diligence and know people that are in your family that you can speak to that have done it with a certain Bitcoin company. You know, you don't want to just have anybody online or hear from a friend of a friend that this worked for them. No, no, no. You make sure that you're sure that you're sure that this is a legitimate company because there are endless scams out there with this Bitcoin and people are getting taken advantage of left and right. So, you know, when you look at uh, capitalization and stuff, it bank capital to assets ratio, back bank capital to assets ratio is the ratio of bank capital and reserves to total assets. So the reality is that banks don't have your money. And if you get, uh, again, like 20% of the people in any particular bank uh, that all decide they want to go get their money out, they're not going to get it. And that's that's just 20%. Because most of the banks have single-digit capitalization uh, as far as like cash on hand. You know, when you look at this, it, this is the, the banking system is just a total Ponzi scheme. It, it's it's the the way the elite play with us um honestly and when you look at federal reserve they want you to think federal means it's by the government but no these federal reserves like the federal reserve bank of kansas city is made up of private banks and it ties back to the same old families it ties back to your you know your your rocky fellers and your jp morgans and you know again it, it's all the same thing they don't have your money. When when people get nervous and they all go to get their money out, you're not going to get it. And in fact, banks do act like that money is not yours. They act like it's theirs. As soon as you deposit it in there, it's like it's theirs. Well, I want to take you know some some money out because I want to buy this or I want to buy that. I want to buy a, a a boat. I want to buy you know a farm over here. You know, you know, and and they'll ask you. They might even ask you, "What are you going to use it for?" It's not your freaking business. It's my money. No, they want to know what are you going to use it for. And you know, they have the whole fraud and security teams that analyze things. And that's more about, you know, that's more about again just slowing it down as far as slowing your ability to get <laughs> your money out of their uh, clutches. Uh, what what Christoph sees here is um, more than the movements of Warren Buffett, which should let us know that currency uh, digits in the bank are, are not going to be safe. Is the fact that um, you know they are planning a crash that's expected, and what he sees is you know, and again, uh, I think he pays a lot more attention to the economics than we do, but I, I don't think he's like a, 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 maybe he is an economic whiz, I don't know, but I've never seen him say that. But he sees that there's going to be something done that is going to be done with the intent of crashing the U.S. economy. But the reality is the U.S. is waiting for this because the U.S. has already a digital currency that they want to switch to in the first place. So it'll look like something happened from the BRICS nations, from Russia, China, in kind of like an act of war, so to speak, an economic act of war, that will trigger 
an economic ripple here that's going to look like it's it's the stock market crash in 1929 all over again maybe on steroids but it is something that the u.s actually wants to happen because then they're going to go ahead and introduce a new form of currency and everybody's going to have to switch to it so you know this is all part of that bigger plan because when you look at BRICS and nato they're ultimately on the same side indeed and here you have you know there's many nations uh that are also including mexico our neighbor to the south that are looking to become part of BRICS. um many and here you know this is a post that's from a little while ago yeah over a year ago year and a half now and you can see that the BRICS nations you know are overtaking the the g7 yeah it's all part of um, the big show but the reality is they do want to institute one global currency after everything has has gone up in a big conflagration guaranteed it will be digital and guaranteed it will be tied into social credit score meanwhile sun eclipse on the 2nd of October we're getting close to that that's just a little bit away now uh, this eclipse is under the influence of Hasta Nakshatra and in the sign of Virgo and again this eclipse is on Rosh Hashanah so you know it's it's the day of atonement it's all tied into the Abrahamic tradition of course mm, you know but if you do in, in Vedic astrology if you're if you are strong in Virgo uh, this is a good thing this is a good thing this is going to highlight uh, your abilities it's going to highlight everything you've learned it's going to highlight um, your your skills uh, Hasta is a very 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 smart beautiful nakshatra in the sense where they are extremely intelligent uh, multifaceted people so there, this can be used for good so anybody who has virgo i would say virgo rising virgo moon virgo sun if virgo is strong in your sign and in, in your chart in vedic astrology they i would say this is going to be a highlight so it'll be good yeah, I was thinking because we were um, worried about David, so we we were looking at his last um, his last video from eleven hours ago, um, and in it he was talking too about the fact that if you can't if you have a mortgage and you can't get insurance for your mortgage, again the banks can um, call in your loan, so to speak. And this is something that's really nagged at me for a very long time because. You know, it's like when you get close to paying off your vehicle and you only have a couple payments left, it, you know, they could literally take it if you only have two payments left. You might have paid $50,000 into a vehicle and you only owe a thousand more dollars and they could snag the whole thing. And this is the same sort of thing that I really have a nagging feeling about. So it's just something to realize. I don't want to cause more anxiety and fear in anybody. But at the same time, I think it's good to know uh, the type of thing that could be done by the system. Because, again, they've told us straight out they don't want any of us owning anything. They want us to rent our underwear. Yeah, they do. They do. It's awful. And, it, you know, if you have that mortgage and insurance is in, impossible, you know, the control that they have over you is just endless. It, it's, it's not fair. No, and, and here you see it's Bill Gates and it's George Soros having dinner together. And you can see, I mean, this is the way they behave. How rude. <laughs> they don't mind it to cross the other. Yeah, so this is part of, of the the way the elites really um, do behave. And, and even though they might be told this is your part, you're not going to ever be the number one billionaire trillionaire on the planet yeah they, they, they're all about ego and it's the ego that suckers them in and yet they they can sometimes you know go against uh, a little bit against the system um and then they'll have to be reined in because it's all orchestrated it's all part of the script indeed again come join us on patreon source bless and namaste namaste